hello welcome to my youtube channel in this video i will talk about how you can perform molecular docking by using alpha fold 3 alpha fold 3 is developed by deep mind uh, and they already won nobel prize for alpha fold 2 so the server which is used for molecular docking is known as proteinix server you can perform both the protein protein and protein ligand docking I will share the link uh, for the Proteinix server in the description below. This is an AI based tool which performs fast and accurate molecular docking as compared to other tools. Here you need to enter your email address. When you enter your email address, you will receive a link on your email. You just uh, need to click on the link. When you will click on the link, you will find this uh, web server. And here in this web server, you need to add the job name. Here I will write Flucloxa. And here if you want to perform multiple sequence alignment, you can just uh, mention here true. Uh, here you can check the detail. What is MSA? This is multiple sequence alignment. And ESM is enhanced folding speed. So uh, if you want to, if you will click on true true, you will get more accurate result as compared to other uh, as compared to clicking on the false then here you need to enter the sequence so here i want to add the sequence of hlab uh, uh, hla genes are very complicated genes and polymorphic genes so molecular docking for these genes are very complicated as compared uh, for these proteins are very complicated as compared to others so i will use hlab just go to the sequence, copy the sequence, and here you just need to paste the sequence. I already copy paste here, so I will delete one sequence. So here is your sequence. Then here you need to uh, paste the sequence of drug. Here I am using flucloxacidine, which is widely used drug. So just copy here and then paste it. So another important thing, if you have ions in your protein, then you can click on the ion first and then add the sequence again and then click add the ligand again. If you want to add any modification in the protein, you can click on add modification and then you can add the modification. So I will not add any modification. For that, we just need to delete the modification. Then, if you want to add the covalent bond, you can add. If you want to add any constraint, you can click on add. Then just submit your job. Okay, just confirm. Once you submit your job, you will receive an email uh, after 15 or 20 minutes. So I already submitted my job and my uh, results are here. So you have to click on output URL and then you will receive the output in the form of .gz file. You have to unzip the result here. I already unzipped. So I will open this in the folder. In the folder, you will see uh, the input data and result are here in flu clock. So here are the prediction. So these are our CIF file that we can open in the Pymole. Just click on this and then here you can see protein here. So here I will also uh, um, I will uh, I also want to see my another protein which is in the PDB. Basically in the PDB Abacavir is attached to HLAB. So I will open the Abacavir as well. Just so here you can see two protein uh, this is HLAB with flucloxacillin and this is HLAB with Abacave. you need to align if you want to see the uh, where the ligand is bind so just open just give this command to the pymole and align both the sequence so here So here in the align sequence, you can easily see that
both here you can see that both the ligands are attached at the same position so here we can say that alpha fold 3 is best for protein ligand docking as compared to other software you can also try um, alpha fold 3 for protein protein docking as well thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video